Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn a composition, or you can say comprehension. Comprehension means understanding. Uh, it may be a poem, it may be a story, or it may be an essay, or any form of article or writing. To understand is called comprehension. Now remember, comprehension is a very very important part in English. Because in higher classes, as you go on passing the present class and the next and the next, in the higher classes, compositions are very important. Like a paragraph, a story, or a poem will be given. You have to read the given poem, paragraph, or story very carefully and answer the questions. The questions may be related with the word meanings, the question answers, or the situation. So it is very, very important. Now, how to move ahead in comprehension? When you are reading something, read with full attention. Fully focus on the given story, paragraph, or poem. Do not get distracted. Okay. Then only you go in your head. If it is in your head, definitely it will come to your mouth. Means, if you understand the story, uh, poem or paragraph, you can answer it very, very easily. Okay. Now, I am going to read a short story about a mongoose whose name is Riti Tiki Tummy. Okay. Why this name has been given, it will be explained to you. Riki Tiki Tummy. Okay. It's about a mongoose. Now, mongoose is a wild animal, you know, it is a quite thin, slender, bushy. It has a very bushy tail, like a squirrel. Squirrel is small, it lives on trees. Okay. But mongoose, they are long, slender, and it has a bushy tail with red eyes. You know, what is the interesting part about mongoose? They love fighting with the snakes. Snakes are afraid of mongoose. Understood? Mongoose can kill a snake. That's why the snakes are afraid of mongoose. They don't want to face the mongoose. So here I start the story. Ricky Tiki Tommy. Children, please listen very carefully to how I pronounce the word. Okay. Ricky Tiki Tommy was a mongoose. His eyes and the end of his nose were pink. He could scratch himself any way he pleased with any leg front or back and he could fluff up his tail until it looked like a bottle brush. His war cry as he scuttled through the long grass was Ricky Tiki 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 Chi. One day a summer flood washed him out of the burrow where he lived and carried him down a roadside ditch. He found a little wisp of grass floating there and clung to it till he lost his senses. When he revived, he was lying in the hot sun in the middle of a garden. A small boy and his mother took him into the house and a big man picked him up between his finger and thumb and said that he was not dead. So they wrapped him in cotton wool and warmed him over a little fire and he opened his eyes and sneezed. It is the hardest thing in the world to frighten a mongoose because he is full of curiosity. They gave him a little piece of raw meat. Ricky Tiki liked it immensely and when it was finished, he went out into the veranda 
and sat in the sunshine and plucked up his fur to make it dry to the roots. Then he felt better. He spent all that day roaming all over the house. And when Teddy, the small boy, went to bed, Ricky Ticky climbed up too. Teddy's mother and father came in to look at the sun and saw Ricky Ticky on the pillow. I don't like that, said Teddy's mother. He may bite the child. He will do no such thing, said the boy's father. Teddy is safer with that little beast than if we have a bloodhound to watch over him. Adopted from Ricky Tiki Tabi by Rudyard Kipling. Okay, now I'll explain the point. I think it's very, very simple, but even then I'll explain it to you. Okay. Once there was a mongoose whose name was Ricky Tiki Tabi. His eyes and nose were pink in color. What color? Pink. Okay. And the very interesting thing that he could do was, I told you he has a long and slender body. He could scratch any part. Scratch means like suppose you have uh, some itching in the head. He scratch like this. He scratch like this. Okay. So, Ricky Tiki Tabi could scratch any part of his body from the tip of the nose to the end of the tail any part of his body with his front leg and back leg he has four legs understood? he has four legs and using those legs he could scratch any part of his body that was very very easy and one more thing he could do very easy he could fluff up his tail like Roughly, I draw a mongoose, okay? You assume that it is a mongoose. Assume it to be a mongoose. So, it has a bushy tail. It has a bushy tail, it's like a bush. And whenever it wanted, it could raise its tail. It could raise its tail. Now the tail is down. Now he could raise its tail like this. He could raise his tail like this. Okay, it looked like a brush, you know, which brush? For cleaning a bottle. We have a bottle here. This is a bottle. For cleaning this, we use this kind of brush. This is put inside and turned around. The inner part of the bottle is cleaned very, very well. So, two thing, interesting things. Number one, he could scratch any part of his body using his front leg or back legs, he could fluff up his tail like a bottom brush. And whenever he was angry, whenever he had to fight with someone, he had a war cry. Do you know what is war cry? Like our Indian army. In our Indian army, there are many, many regiments. Maratha Regiment, Sikh Regiment, Gurkha Regiment, uh, Dogra Regiment. Many many regiments are there in our Indian Army. Okay. So, when the Sikh Regiment, you know Sikh people who has a turban on the head, who has a beard, a moustache, like, when the Sikh Regiment, they want to start a fight, they have a cry, just to make everybody more energetic, more brave. You know what they say? Jo bole soni ha, sat 
we are taught akali ta and when this gorkha regime they want to start a fight a war you know what is the war cry ayo ma kali jay ma kali ayo ma kali this is the war cry so same way whenever riki tiki tabi was in a mood to attack something or a fight with someone it used to make a cry and we know what he i mean how he cried riki tiki this way he cried riki tiki 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 this way he cried this was the war cry before going for any fight or any attack he used to shout at us but sadly you know what happened uh, he is a mongoose to so live in a burrow a hole under the ground a hole under the ground like many animals have uh, different kinds of homes like cows live in a shed horses are kept in a stable rabbits live in a burrow burrow is the hole inside the ground same way mongoose also they live in a burrow they they make a long hole like a tunnel many many holes many many chambers are there inside they live there with their family the one day what happened it was a summer time just like our time now it's raining same way in that place there was a heavy rain very very heavy rain okay so all this rain water it flooded the road it flooded the field and definitely it flooded the burrow of the mongoose also riki tiki tabi means water flood water entered in riki tiki tabi's home he just ran out of his home just to save his life to save himself from drowning in the water he ran out of the house but also the house also too much of flood was there anyway he saw a wisp of grass a piece of grass floating on the water he caught that water and he was carried away by it after some time he got up means he became unconscious when the rain water came he had to run out of his home just to save his life he caught hold of a glass and he floated floating with the grass after some time the rain stopped okay the road was dry and all the water that gone into the drain the ditch ditch is like a small drain at the side of the road okay it's not a drain actually it's not a drain in drain dirty things are thrown okay but ditch is a some kind of structure at the sides of the road where overflow of water will flow okay this water will not remain on the road it will flow away from the ditch so riki tiki tabi it became unconscious but when he became conscious after some time he found himself lying on the ground actually is luckily his life has been saved so when he was revived means i told you when he was being washed away by the rain water he became unconscious he lost his senses but after some hours he revived he revived his first he had lost his senses now he has gained his senses his senses are gone now he has got back his senses okay now there was there was a small path path means uh, like a walking space a walking space he was lying there okay he is lying there he is praying to god maybe i hope so he may be saying to god oh thank god you have saved my life he said my life suddenly a boy and his mother came walking that way okay a boy and his mother came walking that way so they picked up the mongoose they picked up the mongoose they first they checked on the ground it is dead or not no the mongoose was not dead 
So the boy and his mother picked up the mongoose. They took him to their house. They took him to their house. After taking him to the house, they rubbed his body clean with cotton wool. Whatever water was there on his body, they rubbed it dry. They rubbed it dry. Okay. Miss this, uh, son and the mother, they are very, very kind people. They are trying to save somebody's life. They rubbed its body dry with cotton wool and kept it in front of the fire to make it warm. Okay. And after some time, it opened his eyes. Remember, his body has been made dry with cotton wool and wrapped up, put in front of the fire to make it warm. After some time, Rinki Tiki Tari opened his eyes. You know that he is unconscious a little bit, okay? He opened his eyes and he sneezed. This way, he sneezed. After that, he became the member of the family. Every day now he is happy. When he was living in the burrow, he was wild. Nobody was there to take care of him. But now he is living with a family. Now they are taking very very good care of him. The family gave Riki Tiki Tabi a piece of raw meat. Raw means uncooked. A piece of raw meat. Riki Tiki Tabi liked it very very much. And when he finished eating, now you see, his body is dry, he doesn't have a cold, he is warm, and he has got food. What else does anybody want? Okay, so he has got everything he wants. So, after eating the raw meat, he became more fresh, and he went out into the veranda. Veranda means, uh, at the side of a house, there is an open space with roof. Not inside the house. At the side of the house, it may be front or back. Okay. At the side of the house, an open space with roof is called veranda. Especially, all people sit in the veranda to enjoy the sunlight. So, now the Kiti Kitabi is very, very well. He has become like a member of the family. The way he went to the veranda to enjoy the sunshine. And when it was night time, you know where he slept. Okay, let me tell you. The boy who saved him, his name was Teddy. Teddy is the name of the boy, the small boy. Okay. So when Rigi Tiki Tami saw that Teddy was going to bed, he also went to the same bed. Okay. Means Teddy put his head on the pillow. The mongoose also climbed the bed and put his head on the pillow and slept at the side of Teddy. The night time, mother came to check how was Teddy. Okay. Now you know where is uh, the mongoose? Is he Tubby sleeping? He is sleeping beside Teddy. He is sleeping beside Teddy. Father also came to check Teddy. Father and mother both came to check Teddy. Teddy was sleeping well or not. Whether he has put the pillow properly, whether he has covered his body properly, whatever. Whether he has put the mosquito or not, mosquito net or not, they came to check. Then when the mother saw that Riki Tiki Tami was sleeping beside Teddy, she did not like it. She did not like it. What she said? I don't like that. Miss, what does the mother not like? What does the mother not like? She does not like Riki Tiki Tabi sleeping beside Teddy, her son. You know why? Mother is afraid. She said, he will, he may harm the child. He may bite the child. He may attack the child. Who said? Mother. Mother was afraid that Riki Tiki Tabi might harm or attack Teddy. Okay. 
he may bind the child but father you know what he said he will do no such thing one side teddy's mother is afraid that riki tiki tiki tabi will bite teddy but the other side teddy's father is confident that riki tiki tabi or the mongoose will no, not do such thing that what is said you know teddy is safe for with a little beast this means an animal teddy is safer with a little beast but who is little beast we are talking about here little beast mongoose okay father is saying teddy is safer with a little beast than if we had a bird on the watching over what he is saying very big thing suppose if we want to keep our child safe suppose we may keep a dog it is called blood hound what kind of dog blood hound this dog has a very very strong sense of smell very strong sense of smell suppose the child is sleeping there the dog is keeping a watch if any stranger comes he will smell and start barking means he will try to save the child which dog blood blood hound it has a very strong sense of smell father said no the mongoose will not do such thing if this small beast is very very safe it is safer than the blood hound which can keep a watch on our child means one side mother is apprehensive that the child may be bitten by the mongoose other side the father is confident that the mongoose will not bite okay So that's the end of the story. Now let's see uh, page number forty. Some exercises are there. Page forty. Uh, match each word with the meaning it has in the passage. These these are the words. The meanings have been given. You have to understand and select the correct meaning. I'll give you some. Number one is flopped. What is flopped? to say something to make it look larger understood to say something to make it look larger next is scuttle what is the meaning of scuttle ran quickly with short steps ran quickly with short steps this way now next uh, exercise b some questions are there i told you at the beginning of the lesson it is comprehension understanding All right. Who was Ricky Tikki Tapi describing? Ricky, I'm just giving you some points only. You have to elaborate. You have to make it bigger. Okay. Ricky Tikki Tapi was a mongoose with pink eyes and nose. He had a bushy tail. Understood? If you write like this, Ricky Tikki Tapi was a mongoose. He had pink eyes and pink nose and a fluffy tail. This is the description. How do you think Ricky Tikki got his name? Ricky Tikki Tabi got his name from the war cry he made. Ricky Tikki 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 Tikki. This is the summer. Where did the summer flood carry Ricky Tikki Tabi? The summer flood carry where? Ricky Tikki Tabi in the roadside ditch. In the roadside ditch, from the borrow he had to come out and he was carried to the roadside ditch. How was he treated by the family of his family? The family took very good care of him. It. they covered his body with warm clothes kept it in front of the fire and gave it food to eat why is it hard to fight an mongoose ah oh, one point i forgot it is very difficult very hard to fight an mongoose because it wants to uh, learn and see more and more that's why sometimes if life is in danger curiosity wanting to know 
and learn more and more. Okay. So it is hard to frighten a mongoose because it is very, very curious. What did Ricky Tiki eat and how did he dry himself completely? Ricky Tiki Tabi ate raw meat and he dried himself by sitting in the sunlight. Okay, I told you, no, he was sitting on the veranda just to make his body fully dry, completely dry. So Ricky Tiki Tabi ate raw meat and dried himself in the sunlight. What did Teddy's mother fear. Teddy's mother fear. Teddy's mother fear that Ricky Tiki Tabi may bite Teddy. May bite Teddy. What did Teddy's father think? Teddy's father thought that the mongoose would not bite him. Teddy was sick. Okay, now next, uh, page number 41. Say which of the underlying verbs are transitive and which are intransitive. Remember, transitive verbs have objects. Okay. The boys are playing football. The boys are playing football. Playing is the verb. What are they playing? Football. Football is the object. Playing what? Football. Football is the object. Okay. So it is transitive. But if I say the boys are playing, who are playing? The boys are playing. Okay. What are they playing? Nothing is mentioned. There is no object. The boys are playing. No object. In transitive. The boys are playing football. Football is the object. Transitive. Let us see. Number one. He could fluff up his tail until it look like a grass. Look like what? Bottle brush. It is transitive. He lost his senses. Lost is a verb. What is lost? Senses. His object. Transitive. Number three. He was not there. Was is the verb. After that, there is no object. In transitive. Do it. Exercise D. Pick out the adjectives and adverbs from the following sentences and say what kind of which is. Also, made in which word each adjective or adverb. First of all, what are adjectives? Adjectives are describing words that describe nouns. Adjectives describe nouns. What are verbs? Adverbs. Adverbs add meaning to the verb. Adverb of quality, adverb of quantity, interrogative, so many things are there. Let's see. He scuttled through the long grasses. What do you have to do? Adjectives. Scuttle means ran very very quickly. How did he run? Scuttle. Okay, that is uh, adverb. And one more thing, sir. Let's not do this. Let's do it. We are talking long grass. We are talking about grass. Grass is the object. Okay, grass is the object. What kind of grass? Long. Long is the adjective. Number two. Ricky Tiki liked it immensely. Like is the verb. How much he like? Immensely. So immensely is the adverb. Number three. It is the hardest thing in the world to frighten a mongoose. Frighten. Frighten what? Mongoose. Complete. Okay. So E and F no need to do. E and F no need to do. So children complete it. Okay. I shall do the corrections. I shall send you the uh, corrected answers next time. So till then. Bye,